Forward Operating Base ArcJet, or FOB ArcJet, started out as a mission to acquire pre-war technology from the ArcJet research building in the Western Commonwealth area. Paladin Dons reported the existence of immense quantities of high-tech pre-war technology including holotapes, filing cabinets full of documents, and various other items that could benefit the Brotherhood. He recommended that a squad of knights and scribes be dispatched to collect as many items as possible. When Proctor Quinlan, head of all scribes, learned of the vast amounts of material available, the quick mission turned into a long-term occupation in order to properly assess and extract everything of value from the building. High Elder Maxon, leader of the Eastern Brotherhood, then realized that having an operations base in the Western Commonwealth could be beneficial. He decided to make the ArcJet mission into a forward operating base. The Brotherhood and the Minutemen were currently cooperating and generally agreed on matters concerning the Commonwealth region. But if they ever disagreed, Maxon wanted a secure base of operations in the Western Commonwealth to operate from. Using the newly created Yeoman Militia program, he recruited local Commonwealth citizens to man the fort and provide security for Brotherhood scribes working at the site. Inside the building, the scribes worked to take apart and ship literal tons of technical materials for use by the Brotherhood. Outside, the Brotherhood erected a fully functional base of operations including a vertebird launch pad, a field hospital, barracks, and secure walls all around the compound. Heavily armed convoys of vehicles traveled between FOB Arcjet and FOB Watts, taking back items that would be impractical to carry via vertebird. These convoys were the first mechanical ground vehicles to roll across the Commonwealth in over a century. Soon, patrols from FOB Arcjet could be found checking in on surrounding communities and settlers could expect a Brotherhood patrol to come to their aid as much as a Minutemen patrol. Bands of raiders soon learned of the presence of the new base and left the area, looking elsewhere for easier targets. Dangerous creatures such as Death Claws, Rad Scorpions, and Yogwai became functionally extinct within this region. Although the Minutemen were not happy at having Brotherhood bases popping up in their Commonwealth, they had just finished throwing out the Gunners and they were in no shape to take on the Brotherhood. Especially as so many Commonwealth residents were now cooperating with the Brotherhood. Both groups would have to learn to cohabitate and cooperate. In time, people would forget about this outpost in the middle of nowhere. But for now at least, FOB Arcjet represented the edge of civilization. Beyond the earthen ramparts to the west, lay the untamed and dangerous wastes. Waiting for the day that the Brotherhood or the Minutemen extended their control into the heart of America, 